Okay, in this video, I'm going to try to show you how to use a vernier caliper. Okay, and uh, hopefully in the same video, I can show how to read a vernier caliper in inches. Okay, so this is a vernier caliper. The beauty of vernier caliper is you can do inside, outside, and depth measurements. Okay? So to do the outside measurement, you open up the jaw. So a couple other things, there's a lock here. This is what you move it with. So holding it here, you move it back and forth with a thumb right here. Here's a lock. You don't need to reef on it. Just gently, if you need to lock it, clockwise lock. Uh, Counterclockwise, it unlocks. So do the outside measurement. So I'm gonna measure this dowel. So simply open the jaw right here. Push it against it. You can lock it if you need to. Okay. You can take the object out if it's small enough. It's big. You don't need to. Okay. So there's your outside measurement. If you are doing inside measurement, you use the opposite side of the the front jaws here. Okay. So to do the inside, same deal. Go with the jaws. Okay. You can lock it if you have to. So there's your inside measurement right there. If you're doing the depth measurement with it, you use the back end of it. So basically, so I've drilled a couple holes in here, blind holes in here. Okay, so you put this part right here on the bottom of the vernier caliper. You go into the hole, you push it all the way down as far as it goes. Just try not to tilt it because if you tilt it, so if you're tilting it, then it doesn't give you the true reading. Make sure it's sitting flat on it. Okay, you can lock it. Lock that up. So there is your depth right here. So once again, this is your outside, this is your inside, this is your depth. So this particular um, burning caliper, we're going to do the imperial first in inches. This will read from zero inch all the way to seven inches. So zero, one is hidden behind the dowel, two, three, you got four inches, five inches, six, and seven would be right here somewhere. So it would read up to seven inches. Okay, now we're gonna start learning how to read this. So your numbers, big numbers, remember this micrometer goes from zero to seven inches, okay? And we're gonna read the inch side. So it tells you inches, this top part is inch, the bottom part is millimeters. We're not going to deal with millimeter for this video. So we're dealing with inches. So when you're dealing with inches, so you look at what, what's the biggest inch on, so this is the part that moves. You got to see from this zero line, what's on the left of this zero? What is the biggest inch that you have? So you have two right here, okay? Right, that line is on the left side of the, the zero. Of this mark. So you would write down that goes before the decimal. So it goes decimal, so two decimal zero 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 because we're reading thousands of an inch. Okay? So that's what you get. The second number, if you've seen any of my other videos on measurements, dollars. Okay? So you have between each inch, two to three inch, we have one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three. Same thing, it starts again. So these are your, how I say it, they're your dollars. The dollar will start after the decimal. So this one will be written as decimal one, zero, zero. This will be written as decimal two, zero, zero. This will be decimal three, zero, zero decimal four, zero, zero, and so on. So you're gonna see which one is on the left side, what biggest dollar is on the left side of the zero line. So we have this three right here, right there. So that three is on the left side of zero. So we will write that as, you can write zero here, decimal three, zero, zero. Okay. Next, we look at the quarters. So we have dollars, now we have quarters. So if you look carefully between each dollar, so from four to five, you have one, two, three quarters, 25 cents. So that's representing 25 cents, 50, and 75 cents. Go back to a dollar, 25, 50, 75, okay? 
So in this case, after this dollar, so I'll write this down here too. So these represent 0, 2, 5. This one will represent 0, 5, 0. This one will represent decimal 0, 7, 5. So how many quarters do we have past the 3 fold over? How many quarters do we have on the left side of the 0? 1, 2. So the 2 quarters will give us 50 cents. So we will write that as 0 decimal 0, 5, 0. Okay. So we have our full inch, we have our dollar, we have our quarters. Now we're going to deal with the pennies, the cents. Each cent for this particular type of uh, measuring tool, you get it from this movable part. Remember, this is the part that moves back and forth on this part. Okay? So you get pennies from here. So this will represent zero pennies. This will represent zero, zero, one, zero, zero, decimal zero, zero, two, decimal zero, zero, three, so on. This will be decimal zero, two, zero, okay, up to 25. So that gives you 25 cents up to here. So what you're looking for here is it gets a bit tricky. You're looking for which one of these lines goes directly through or matches, perfectly matches the line on here. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's going to turn out to um, the way I expected in the video, but from what I read is, so see these things are not matching right here. They're separate, these are separate, that's separate, that's not matching. If you keep going from what I see, this number 7, so there's 5 right here, that's 5, that's 006. This line right here, this line goes right through. So that gives us decimal zero, zero, 007. Okay? So you will write down that here, 0 0.007. So we'll have, these are our cents, these are our quarters, these are our dollars, and this is inch. Okay? If you want to remember it that way. So all you got to do is simply add that one. So the answer is 7, 5, 3, decimal 2. So the measurement is 2.357 inches.